Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. In the last video, I started really getting through that level 5 ship that I started last weekend. Ah, the data recovery. This is, um, I believe this is an achievement if I actually go ahead and do this. <laughs> That's a little cute little 8-bit sound. The vice name, Port Olympus, one of three Martian tourism board first found on the Trenchant Roberts. If you want to read this, go ahead and pause the video. I'm just going to scroll through it really quick so I can get out to the ship itself. Oh, wait, wait. Let me get back in there. Do I have any messages? Nope. Okay. Double check all of my gear before I head back out to the yard. Yeah, everything's working pretty good. I'm still at level 7. I don't think I've leveled up yet. Ooh, heat capacity. That'd be nice. I'm running very short on Link's tokens. I only have 11, so... Yeah, let's just head out to the yard. And I was talking about, in the earlier parts of this series... Yeah, this is working on the trench at Roberts. Um, talking about how... This game's reminding me a lot of the old company towns that were prevalent in the United States in the late 19th and early 20th, uh, 20th centuries. And, and when I woke up to record this, I'm actually recording this a full week ahead. Yeah, that's how much I enjoy this game. I'm recording it that far in advance. Um, I saw an article from CBS News um, saying, California School District tries new way to retain teachers, low-cost apartments on student property. That is exactly what a company town is. Essentially saying, you don't make enough money to live where you're at, so we're just going to provide you with housing, but you have to pay us to live here. This is the United States that this is happening in. Just letting you know. And if I remember to go back and grab that article... I will absolutely do it. I'll link it. I'll, I'll put it in the description for this video or put it in the comment section for this video. But the absurdity of, hey, can we just pay teachers more? That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. There's nothing wrong with paying teachers more. I mean, I'm, I did not go into teaching for a very simple reason. I don't, I have a temper. So that'd probably be a really dumb thing for me to do. And... If you kid, if you don't want to be there, kid, just don't be there. I'm, I've kind of got to that point now where if you don't want to be somewhere, and again, this is um almost 35. You, know, you don't have to be there, but at the same time, if you don't study history, you are doomed to repeat it. And I'm looking at a lot of that stuff right now, and this game kind of is a definite reminder of that. Is like, hey, nobody has studied history. That's why we've made unions a bad thing. We've made this company town a bad thing. No, well, they they put it under the guise of it being a good thing, but it's not a good thing. Like, you see how much debt I'm in, or my character's in, starting off in the game. That's not a good thing. I hate to break it to you. It's just not. I do like the fact that I'm in this nice little corner. I'm not getting buffeted around by errant uses of my rocket or whatnot, or my thruster pack. And I think there's an O2 tank right behind me also. But I'm able to pull a lot of this stuff out and just drop it in there, because I barely made level 2 at the end of the last video. However, I'm able to pull in a lot of this stuff. Because I was able to peel back the ship. Oh, there's a light there. Totally missed that. All right, and here, I don't think I've got anything left in this section. Seeing some cut points. A lot of the stuff has to be cut loose, so let's start cutting the stuff loose. Okay, we got some okay rail guides. Applying credit. 
two more industrial hoists for the, that thing. This thing's powered, which is still kind of throwing me off a little bit. Pop this stuff loose, and we should be good. All right. Yeah, I wasn't knowing what to expect when I picked up uh, Game Pass, but this has been a really good pickup, I think. And again, if you're interested in this game after watching my playthroughs of it, go ahead into the description of this video. I've got a ton of links to it on Game Pass. There's no affiliate link, so if you pick it up, I'm not going to get anything for it. This is more a, hey, I want to share this with you. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Just go ahead and burn that. Material accepted. Credits transferred. Apparently they don't want to recycle that, or that uh, what do you call it? Crew bed. Let's grab you loose. You wanted the bed, but you didn't want the mattress. All right. All right. Let's scan this up. The cockpit, the crew quarters. This section may be ready to head in. I did see something down here. A little bit of nanocarbon. I'm not going to cut that loose. There we go. This is the objects that I picked up in the last thing. So there's a part back there. There's some pickups over there. The part over there, too. I'm not running back right away to get it because I got an O2 tank right over there. There's an atmospheric regulator in there, and then it looks like, yeah. There's a lot of stuff up here that has to be cut loose. My goal in this video is to get this whole section cleared. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I'm also worried that as I'm doing this, I'm going to make a giant, giant mess of things. And this whole thing's just going to start flowing apart from each other, which would be bad. Because I like and if I can do a very nice, orderly disassemble of the ship, I'd like to do that. There we go. Okay, cargo hatch is going for the barge, rail guide's going for that. Yes, they are. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Valuable object accepted for processing. Okay. And this says processor down here, but that's a uh, barge above it, so I'm pop this all off. Maybe I don't need to, or I need to pop in here and clear this guy out. Yeah, I need to pop this guy away. Oh wow, there's more O2 over here. Nice. I don't think I'm going to actually have to go back to get some O2 today. That'd be a nice little way to change things up. One still held on by one cut point, so we'll pop that off. I'll grab those two sections and send them down together. I like it.
All right. Oops. Okay, we're gonna tether you two guys together, and you two guys to buy. Yep, down to four. So I'm actually gonna have to go. I will need to go back and get some more stuff. What's you, what are you attached to? Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Oops. Cancel that tether. Gently bring him in. Get myself to a nice safe distance and pop it off. Yeah, screw it. This thing is sending me every which way. Alright. You can see all the stuff that needs to go into the furnace, and I just want to get that last little bit be cut away. Grab this thruster fuel. Furnace, furnace processor. This panel loose. Cutter. Shift clock says five minutes left. You know what to do. We've out. I don't want to peel that panel off because there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be moved with it. How's this engine looking? Right, this thing is almost free. Damn it. All right. That's the one... Pro oh, wait. Oh. That could have gone so much worse. Still figure out how to shut these thrusters down. Object processed. Transferring credits. I may... Here's what I'm going to do. Cut these things loose and wrap up my shift because without the tethers, it's kind of a moot point of me still being out here. I can get 30, but the time that I waste. Going back and getting them, it would essentially just be like, well, just go get some O2 and end your shift. Thankfully, there's some O2 over on that wall. I think there is O2 on that wall. Yeah, there is. I might as well stay out here as long as I can. Oh, damn, I cut something up. I, I put something on fire. Get back in there, get back in there. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Is there, another, is there another one down there? Damn it. That's a furnace. Alright, so, minor thing, caught myself on fire. That was frustrating. Did not want to uh, burn more of this ship up if I ha unless I had to. Okay, pop that hard crate off. What is this thing? Is this the hulk of the ship? Okay, it is. Perfect. 
no tethers. Please refill supplies. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit All right. transferred. I'm gonna have to peel this guy away. Because this is ready to go into the furnace. I don't want to cut him up. But if I do, it's going to kind of... Don't be a hero, all right? I have to pretty much do that back section and then drag the rest of it into the... Uh, what do you call it? I want to process everything else, Get that la use that last O2, use that last thruster fuel, and then drop that big old section in the furnace. I'm going to do that in the next shift here in just a second. of background there on Dee Dee. So, family wa were ranchers on Mars. Trying to get this one little panel to pop out and go say hi over there, please. Thank you. Got those little materials off of the side of uh, the port side of the hull of the husk here. I mean, it's almost ready to drop in there, but this thing's in the way. In fact, you know what? Screw it. Let's get this damn thing out of the way. This thing is big, it's unwieldy, and I don't think... Oh! Good thing I popped, poked my head in here, didn't I? It's a lot of stuff that could have been destroyed that I could have been salvaged. Go ahead and grab all that up. But I do also love, so far with this game, is that as you progress through the story, you're getting these peeks into the lives of the people you're working with, and also a pretty bleak picture of the state of the Earth. And I'll take a moment here and just actually look down at the planet. I don't even know what my land mass that is, never mind. I was gonna say, oh, we're near this thing. I I cannot make that out, just some initial glance. This whole thing's headed in. I don't see anything else. I see some fuel in there. But that's supposed to go in there. That's all panels. That's all headed for the furnace. So let's peel that guy away. Let's spend the rest of our time working on trying to clear these engines out. And just keep an eye on that bar at the top of the screen. I'm pretty sure it's going to poke into level 3 pretty good ways once the husk of that hull hits it. Yep, yeah, there he is. Still going. I think there's an airlock door I didn't grab, but oh well. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Yep, there's a door every single time. What the hell did I just take off? I just took off doors. Helter Smelter. Okay, new achievement there. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Okay. 
whatever the heck I just popped off, that connects the, uh, those are the barge things. Is there anything in you that I need to be keeping around here? Or can I send you to the processor? Yeah, you're going to the processor now. This section is still solid. I still have to figure out how to, like, deactivate the thrusters in there. So I've still got to figure that one out. Don't want to ditch this guy just yet, because he's still got some precious, precious O2 for me. This guy. Let's reel him in. Bye-bye. There we go, level three. Oh, scanner damaged. That's unfortunate. Okay, how do I pop you off? I think I'm missing some cut points in here somewhere. Ah, there they are. And it was like, this is not going to the right place, so let's make sure this is going to the right place. Alright. Clipping just a little bit with it, that's fine. Pop this guy off. So it says structure's titanium. But also saying you grab the O2 tank off there and I'm going to put the rest in I'm not going to worry about the thruster fuel just want that O2 canister grab it, I guess. So I want to get this one, I'm going to try to get this one done up. Alright, all those go to the barge. Then we have the thrusters down here. Now if I can figure out a way to get that around this guy, that'd be in good shape. Let's start with this uh, starboard, pro starboard engine. It's like that line from The Rock. The second you disrespect this, it kills you. Here we go. Whoa. Looks like there's some decompression there. <laughs> okay. So play here, cut it out, yank it out. A fuel injector way down there. Can I even get to it? Flush switch, fuel injector. But no, there's no other access, so I have to pull this thing out and be quick about it. Let's line myself up. Hold on to your butts. Um, you know what? I'm gonna let that explode. I don't think I can get there. 
I'm gonna explode, guys. I'm okay with those fuel pipes exploding. I can live with that. I, I can come to terms with this. Just gonna go ahead and let that burn for a little while, okay? Alright, now for these guys, let's go ahead and, uh... Ah, just lost level 5. I'm honestly okay with that, because there was I, I okay, I could have gotten in there. I think I could have, actually. Okay, even the lights weren't good. Five minutes left in this ship, Cutter. Yeah. Don't buy it off more than you can chew. We out. Yeah, I probably could have actually gotten that in there, so let's actually do it correctly with the other one. I'm gonna pop that engine off. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. So I mean I bar barely missed L5 on this one. But knowing that the time it takes actually to for it to go down, I can get in there. My concern was like going in there, I'd immediately die. I'm thankful this is actually aligned now. Accepted. Oddly enough, it didn't take the other thruster. Okay. Let's poke our heads in there. Got about four minutes left on this shift, but about a one of oxygen. Deep breath, kids. Fortune favors the bold. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get out of my way. Let me go. Tell me when to go. Okay. Man, I should do it this time. <laughs> now I feel like such a giant piece of shit. Did lose one piece. But I can't... I don't want to cut it loose, because also it, I can't cut it loose. I got about two minutes left in the shift, so what I'm going to do is head back in, and I'm going to finish this ship off camera. Um, this seems like the best way to do it. I've spent a couple of videos on this guy already, and... Knowing that it's like, oh, just run on in there and grab it. So cut the four uh, pipe junctions, then rush in, yank out the yank out the thruster, run in there, hit the flush valve, and you should be okay. I'm learning still. This is all. This is one of those new hazards. So even with uh, yeah, I destroyed a ton of shit in this one, but I still I'm making 12 million. I've only destroyed $2 million of the product, so only $2 million. But I'll finish this one off camera. Next video, we'll start up with a new ship. Who knows what I'm going to have? There's a lot of options available ship wise. So, fingers crossed. Good morning, ship breaker. This is your daily wake up call. Ooh. I got this is the uh, sticker, the Helter Smelter. Incinerate 35,000 kilos of aluminium. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching and relaxing with this video. I'll see you all in the next one.